Hello, welcome back to episode 16 of our Road Tech Season 1 career, where we started with Permanent X. Uh, at the end of last episode, I thought we went through and selected abilities here, but uh, it doesn't seem to have saved, so we're going to go back at the beginning of this one. And we wanted Bandit for him to improve his clustering rolls, since he's firing the long-range missiles from our support mech. We want. What is it already? Uh, we chose focus fire for grave digger because we want the minus recoil since he's typically firing an auto cannon. How might I help? Then receiving you. I guess the other ones did save, but for some reason. What do you want? Oh. Uh. Oh, do not. Okay, that's why right there. That's why it didn't save. Alright. Bandit. Confirm. There you go. Okay, so it needs like a double confirmation there. Which is weird, but... I guess it's so you don't accidentally choose the wrong one. Alright, we are one day away from this raid. We have four mechs ready, but it's the Whitworth... Service, the swordsman and the fire bee so we're going in extra light on this one let's hope it's not a terribly high school mission also we're still two days away but the raid won't wait so into the battle we go planetary mission has a mission for us repossession be provided route seems to be a battle mission sounds urgent uh right Okay, one school battle, orange sorcerer. Let's take some salvage. You know what, we need all the, uh, we only get three choices, so we'll take just there and take some money. All right, one school is better than one and a half school. All right, you guys get out of here. Whitworth and the fire bee, you are our Whitworth guy, right? Or is Gale Whitworth guy? Gale is the Whitworth guy. Vampire is the fire bee guy. There we go. Alright, we got Swordsman, the Dervish, the AC2 carrier, the Heavy Hover APC. Wish us luck. We're gonna need it. We are gonna need it. Come on. Quick load in this time around. Let's see it. You know that uh, info right there, killing rocket launcher units before they fire is tactically biased. We could have used that message before the last mission. Maybe the Sentinel wouldn't be in for 10 days of repairs. Right. A coalition leader has fallen behind on payments for their armored vehicles, and our leasing agent has been un unable to repossess the heavily armored vehicles. We've decided that sending a more explosive message is the best way to ensure that others do not take future liberties. Um, target vehicles with a secondary lance of mechs. Okay, so there's vehicles and mechs, probably two lances. This might be a bit of a long battle. I wish we could have gotten better salvage uh, counts for the high salvage, like a five count, but it is what it is. Command interface initiated. Target vehicle's been detected. So the coalition, the Regan coalition, is trying to take the planet, and you are leasing them vehicles. That sounds like a great idea. Alright, it says fog and sensors. They should be up there on the hill. We don't want to have to come up this hill to them. Where can we deploy? We can deploy back here. Uh, let's just try right there and see what we get. Uh, 
fire truck. Oh boy. Anything else? Commander. A quick sprint up into the trees. Alright, so there's the vehicles. Fire truck. Rotary, rotary rifle wrecker. Oh boy. Condor AC5. Some sort of tank. Is it just those three? Nope, nope. And a Pisces TD25-2. Two light rifles. Heavy flamer. Alright. Uh, ECM into active mode. Oh, we remember to do that this time. I've got eyes on oh, and there come the reinforcements from the flank. Basically going to be ignoring... That locust until we can get a good melee hit on it because he's not going to be easy to hit. We may have tank run around behind him. All right, cross cut. Commander. Run him up on the hill. Get around behind everybody. There's two mechs so far, but there's probably more. Go ahead and toggle those up to five. Right, the fire truck's trying to get in closer. Alright, let's get the Whitworth into the trees too. Very curious how the programming for the little sort of priority mission campaigns like this uh, goes. Like, if you take out, say, two lances here, does that reduce the number of lances available to the attacking force in the sort of global map? Be very interesting to see. You have orders. Uh, we'll move him down into here. He may be in some danger. All right, who's moving first? Commando. All right, all the spawn protection removed. Twenty-five percent. Can we get him into thirty percent? All right, that's not bad. Roger that. Come up into here and target this rotary rifle wrecker. Hmm. About thirty damage. Oh, oh boy. Heat onto the Whitworth, then machine gun damage onto the fire beam. Orders. Uh, we will Good to go. just harass over here carefully with the heavy hover APC. We don't want to almost lose him like we did last time. Alright, so there's a spider along with the Commando and the Locust and the Crosscut. Okay, miss with the Dervish. Standing by. Nice kick in to the side of the truck. And we missed. See if the lasers hit. That's a miss. 
Well, one of them did. How much armor does this truck have, anyway? Well, we'll have to wait until it's one of our units' turns to take a look. We'll get some pretty fast light picks. Oh, we kicked it in the back somehow. 75 armor on it. Alright, Condor. We're going to have to target him pretty soon. Ready for orders. Alright, uh, from the side, can we get a kick? Alright, don't fire the LRMs. You know what? Maybe we don't. Maybe, uh, maybe we come over here. We get a nice shot. Oh, that's not very good. That's not very good. Okay, so maybe it is the fire truck then. Uh, camera trying to be a problem. Alright, give him a kick. Don't shoot our own guys. Good hit. He only has 75 damage. Uh, structure exposed. Nice. Very nice. On the left hand side, so here. Give him a kick. Don't fire the LRMs. 15 damage is all it needs. The kick Enemy should do it. Engaging. 35 armor damage. Must not have hit the side. We missed all the missiles. No joy. That's a bit sad. Where is he going? Cut down some trees, maybe? Oh! I'm hit! Oh! I'm hit. That was okay. Rotary Rifle Guy is now primary Commander, target. I'm hit. Primary target is now Mr. Rotary Rifle. Have no doubt, it will be done. Alright, standard rounds. Target acquired and locked in. 20 damage. That was a huge hit. Destroyed our mortar. Knocked us over. Commander. Yeah, ignore the fire truck. He is not the threat. Taking the shot. Two injuries to Pilot. There go, Locust. Pulling off. Let's see what we can do here without getting in too much trouble. Nice amount of evasion. Uh, the Locust is 10. He's got 20. Then we're going to fire at the Locust. Alright. Let's shoot him in the back. Maybe we can strip all the armor off. Yeah. No luck, but he is the target to take shots at. Oh boy. Uh, we're gonna need to retreat next round, I think. What's up, boss? All right, Mr. Rotary Rifle. You're getting all the. All the firepower right now. Considering how much damage you did. Heavy rotary rifle. You got another shot off? Reporting internal damage. Uh we might lose our swordsman. If he does too much oh, is that a head hit? Oh boy. Oh, okay.
Okay. That's a problem. Hip destroyed. Prone. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, he missed. Awaiting orders. A stationary shot here. Seventy-three percent chance. Nice structure exposed. Maybe we can finish him off. Oh no, don't shoot don't shoot the swordsman. Okay. Single shot into the AC2 carrier. He was not bothered by that. Yes, Commander. On the move. Yep. Ignoring the fire truck and targeting the actual threat. Come on, turn on. 22 damage. Can we do 22 damage? Ah, uh, alright. Oh, we're missing a leg. Uh, let's see if this works. Four activations remaining. You know what? Take the 19%. On rear arc. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative. Down the oh, our pilot ejected. Well, and the Whitworth it is overheated. This is going poorly for us. Get out of the fire. No large laser. Can we not fire anything? We can fire the LRM5. Still has. Alright, what if we just fire the large laser? No. No. It's just the SRM4. It's gonna be close. Alright, let's try it. No luck. That's a problem. We are in some trouble here. Waiting for orders. Turns out, doing a campaign with only one full lance of mechs might have been a mistake. Tango down. One enemy vehicle down, yeah, and we have no reinforcements uh, or no allies on this. Oh, 45, that's his A, that's his AC5. Yeah, we're taking some real hard hits. We're not getting any cover bonus. I don't think we're getting any damage reduction for being in cover. It must not be in cover right there. Receiving you. Commando crosscut locust. Alright, let's get over here behind the locust and fire again. Nothing spectacular. Uh. All right. Commander. Vampire, get over here. Kick this truck and finish it On off. Nice. Good hit. Yeah, the, uh, missiles were unnecessary. 42% on the Pisces. Should I take that shot? 75 damage, not bad. 
Commanders. Probably got some decent armor on the front end. Yeah, 125. We'd like to get around behind him. Uh, it's a terrible hit chance. 30%. That's what we'll have to do, I guess. Why is the hit chance so bad here? Let's see. Target. Oh, he's got really high evasion, and we're in min range. Okay. Let's try this one. Yeah, only 20 damage. It's gonna take a while to chew through that front armor. Uh, time to run. I think it's time to run with the hover APC. Serious work. Wow, they just like really get some good called shots. Ah, oh, he's about to lose the arm and the shoulder. All right, how are we doing here? Twenty-five health left. Get around behind the locust one more time. Max evasion. This is acceptable. Shoot him in the rear. Only two hits out of 42%. That's pretty bad rolls. Kinda unlucky here. Alright, 17 health. Who knows how much health to the front? I present the right side. Give him. Most of it. Uh, 70 damage, not terrible. Right, hovercraft's running. That's good. He should. Wait, how did he. Must have a turret to be shooting like that. Right. Do not. You know what? Gonna lower our hit chance, but we have to move so that we don't shoot our uh, Whitworth in the back because the game likes to have you miss and shoot your friends. Locking on target. Nice, nice, solid hit. Almost no more armor left in the front. Awaiting orders. All right, time. For this guy to get out of here. Yeah, I think after this mission we're gonna have to abandon this uh, defense of the planet just because we simply don't have the mechs available uh, to do it without taking significant losses. Alright. 
Target neutralized. There is one more vehicle, so we just have the hovercraft left. And then the four light mechs. Waiting for orders. Move order received. Let's see what kind of shot we have from here. 27%, 8%, 16, we'll take 27 against the commando with the LRMs. Yeah, no hits. Not terrible, or not that bad. Weren't really expecting anything but one hit anyway, at best. Okay, Condor is zooming back in close. He tried to ram us. Surprising. Uh, yeah, we're gonna give him a nice kick. Still can't fire the large laser because the heat may need to take a turn off to cool down. Engaging. Good hit. Solid damage. Structure exposed. Alright. Let's come over here. 78%. 87%. Let's do it. Left side, so we're firing to the wrong side, but you know, you never know. It's solid, 100, 100 points of damage. Back up. Give him a nice shot. He's only got 25 armor left there. Who knows? Maybe we'll... There we go. Alright, primary. Lance of vehicles destroyed. Now we need to take out all of the mechs. Ready for orders. Uh, let's go ahead and sprint the fire the up. Twelve percent, one percent, ten percent. We'll go for the twelve percent on the commando, and then we'll get lucky, get a single hit, and yeah, single hit. What do you know? Receiving you. Tank. Zoom around behind the spider. And it might be a problem next time around. Eh, a few good hits in the back. Commando's moving up into the trees. Crosscut's nice and slow. Not too worried about him engaging us too soon. Let's see what the Locust does. Might be able to get the Hover APC back around behind the Locust again. Ooh. Landed a hit on the fire bee. Standing by. Alright. Step up. 42%. We'll take a 42% shot with the LRM5. And we fire large laser, we still bleed off some heat, so why not? Low average uh, expected hit. We'll uh, drop some flak rounds up at the commando. Eh, no hits. Yeah, we had a pretty low hit chance to begin with. Pretty low chance to begin with. Alright, field command time. Alright, 28%. 5%. Alright, Mando's probably the biggest damage threat left. 
wasted range. I don't know how big of a threat the crosscut is up close. Twelve percent, okay. Probably just stick behind this guy then. Or uh we'll keep moving and not attack anybody. Keep that evasion up. Ouch. They're just not missing very much, are they? Standing by. To, to the core. And 55%. Right, he hasn't moved very much, so we'll go ahead and get in some cover. Give him some nice fiery hits. Oh, we do not have very good evasion. We need some serious upgrades to yeah, actually right. be a viable mech. We're only, we only brought it along because everything else was in the repair bay. And it was our only option. It's going to need a retreat pretty soon with all this, uh, all this damage that he's taken. Spider trying to go around yep. for... The rear. Confirmed. Back the Whitworth up. Take a nice. Uh, turn off those two, bleed off a little aye more aye. heat. Awaiting orders. Moving out. Right, stay in cover. Unloading a full nice flak rounds. Not a terrible amount of damage. Armor still holding a uh, critical panic. Oh, that's unfortunate. Burn forest. <laughs> okay. Pretty bad hit chances. If we stand still and shoot, still bad. Why is that? No sensors. Why did, how do we lose sensors? Max range, target moved. I feel like we still had better. Um, Better hit chance. Yeah, no sensors. That's interesting. What happened to the sensors? Warfare, vision sensors. No, we just had a bad sensor roll this time around. Okay. Uh, fire the SRM force. Locked on. Oh, we actually have the large laser. Nice. Love to see it. All right, Firebee's in trouble. Firebee is in trouble. Reporting. All right, get him behind the Locust. Now get him behind the Commando here. Sure, right next to him. Why not? We're brave, we're trying to save our mechs after all. Okay, spiders charging down the hill. Walks into our ECM field. And shoots our EC2 carrier point blank. We really need to rotate him. Right, can we 
can't do is gonna get a salvo. Right in the face. Nice. Alright. Uh, alright, come on, game. Crosscut and step away, build up some more evasion. Yeah, keep opening up on the crosscut here. Really, the only thing we can hit. Alright, outside our mid range, or inside of our mid range. Is that what I clicked? Alright. How's our armor on this guy? Still pretty solid. What? Oh. Must have lied to us about our uh, attack angles. Need to get around behind the locust. Actually, this is. Yeah. Decent shot right here. Shooting the locust in the back. And we hit our dervish. Reporting critical hit. Reporting minimal damage. But Firebee's confident now. He's about to get blasted. Oh, Commander, I'm hit. And a head hit, of course. Reporting minimal damage. They have very accurate mechs on their mech warriors on their side this time around. Alright, step up here. Heading out. Alright, we'll get a decent side shot into the spider. Nice. Reporting critical hit. Extremely injured. Miss the fire beam. And so fairly oh, confident in our ability to is this geothermal. Sixteen percent. Come around here. Oh, we do not want to get in melee range of the crosscut. He will chop us up. 55% right in the back. And somehow we had the fire bee who wasn't even in our line of fire. It's an unfortunate state of affairs, as it were. Maybe we can get the spider to eject with a nice rear shot. There we go. Love to see it. Okay. Awaiting order. Alright, easy to carrier. You get a nice rear shot on the locusts without hitting the Whitworth in the process. Let's see. Okay. Imp the EC2 carrier improved to stressed. You know, that's that's probably oh boy. I'm gritting my teeth right now. Bunch of armor damage on the fire bee. Yeah, there's no way after taking the amount of damage we're taking in a mission like this that we could take another mission in like two or three days. 
We're just going to have to abandon the campaign. It's unfortunate, but we learned our lesson. Standing by. The enemy locus. Well, we just want to come up here and blast the commando. Because uh, we're not going to hit our fire bee, are we? Let's hope not. Firing all weapons. We need most of their remaining damage. Reporting. Can we get around behind them? Let's see. We sprint. Can't for some reason. It just like won't let us go past the spot. All right, what if we come over here? We shoot. Yeah, right there. Nope. There. 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 All right, so we're gonna run into fire, but we might be able to hit the locust in the butt. Sixteen percent. One little crit, come on, that's all we're asking. Two damage. All right. You want to shoot me in the back? I can run around and shoot you in the back too. Watch this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was pitiful. Pitiful, come on. You could do better than that. Reporting. Right, get over here. Do not shoot our dervish. Do shoot the enemy commando. Two hits. It'll go. do. Attack in the rear, don't fire the large laser so we don't overheat, can we kick? And we just need a couple of missiles to hit. There we go. Alright. Locus down. There are only two mechs left. Get over here, shoot this commando in the buck. Almost 50% chance we only got three hits out of ten. That's these are some really bad hit chances. Oh boy. We only got two more salvos with the dervish. Burn 25 missiles at a time. I get 50 left. Oh, that was that was a solid hit. Reporting critical hit. That was a solid hit. And he's going to shoot the fire bee in the back. Okay, armor's holding. Armor is holding. Now, crosscut, what are you going to do? You're going to hit the dervish. Man, they have some ridiculous levels of accuracy compared to us. Good to go. Coordinates received. Maybe swap the LRM on the fire B to be Acknowledged. an SRM4. Just for like up close punchiness. Yes, Commander. More kind of consistent. Right, we don't want to hit the hover APC, so we will fire from the front. Location acknowledged. Eh, nine armor. It'll do. Haven't really caused any stability damage. He's gonna, that was a good uh, initiative roll for him. Ow. Firebee is really tanking pretty well, to be honest. Alright, drive around behind him. 
Shoot up his back. There we go. Got some nice crits, but it was all heat sinks. A little upper leg. Frankly, I'm surprised the Firebee has taken no internal structure damage at this point. Standing by. Alright. This should be... this is worth putting a little heat on for right here. Go time. There we go. Ammo explosion ahead, and ejection. Alright, now... For the it's our last shot of our dervish, let's make it a good one into the crosscut. Firing full complement on enemy. Solid hit. I'm out of LRM. Yeah, you're gonna have to run in and punch now. Be still tanking good. We'll probably lose the leg or at least take damage to the leg soon. Awaiting orders. There, standard shot. Yeah, no more flak rounds. Switch back to standard rounds. Nice. Drive up here, give him some nice machine gun fire. Ah, uh, we got a jam. Unjam your machine gun, please. Receiving. Alright, sprint right at him. Go punch that crosscut right in the face. He's only got the one medium laser that he's been shooting. Ready for orders. Move orders received. Get up off this cliff. Don't fire that medium laser to not build up heat. Hot damn, let's do this. Solid hits. Nice clear shot uh, from where we are. Okay, don't move. Firing. Oh wow, side doors are destroyed. Solid connection on that one. He's panicked. Ready for orders. Let's see, nice clear shot from the side. Okay. Scored a critical hit. Very off balance. Ready for orders. We'll get in close, but don't do anything yet because we don't want to sprint and charge. Waiting for orders. Now it's worth firing everything. Mech warriors, show them what you've got. You may be that hit. You may not have the ability to eject. Waiting for orders. Which is unfortunate for him. Unfortunate for us. Or unfortunate for us a little bit. And unfortunate for him. Yeah, just go for that center torso. There we go. Well, that was a bit of a disaster, but a successful mission. mission. Successful. So let's see about the swordsman. We should be able to keep it since it was an ejection. I'm not sure how that's going to work. We may have to take a really long time in a full episode just to handle repairs. Firebee pilot injured, 
Sword's been pilot injured. Wentworth is gonna need repairs. Dervish has some armor to repair. Both these guys are fine. Again, amazingly, the hover, hover APC makes it through. All right. So, cavalry tank, where was that rotary cannon tank? Well, let's go check out the equipment first. All right, chainsaw, fluid gun, fuel tank, heavy rotary rifle. Yeah, probably want that. That was punching hard. C3 slave, bunch of different engines to choose from. Oh. FCS jam. Interesting. The industrial armor, industrial structure, basic sensors, searchlight, standard engines, and this takes what is negative twenty five percent armor damage, but it does 60 damage times 2. I feel like it was doing more than that. 12 tons. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get onto something. Let's see. We may actually drop that off and take two of these wrecker parts and hope for the rest of them. Definitely want the FCS jam. Yeah, we'll see what else we get. All right, fire chart, cavalry tank, commando part, two medium lasers, the FCS melee, that's nice. And structure, heavy rifle, sabot ammo. Oh, so if the heavy rifle was taking, firing the heavy sabot ammo, it sort of negated that armor damage problem. And that's why our swordsman got wrecked so hard. Yeah, we'll see what the uh, if the game queues up another raid for the defense of the planet, but uh, there's no way we're going to be able to take it, I don't think. We've got injured pilots, we've got trashed mechs. 168,000 in 23 days for repairs. Yep. Yeah, raid in three days. We... Alright. Bump him up. We would have like two mechs available. Swordsman's 13 days. Yeah, get him down to the bottom of the queue. We throw the wasp up here. And try that out. But that's still... Pilots aren't ready. Planetary government forces are minus two. Uh, all right, so we are waiting on our next upgrade here. I think we need another habitat pod. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll all right. And we will go ahead and just wait the one day. Oh, we didn't even make it to the raid. The Regan Coalition smashes through the forces of the planetary government and has defeating Rodius, withdrawing before a counterattack can be mounted. Your contract ends on a sour note. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the conclusion of our defense here. Uh, we've got two ready mechs and two vehicles and a bunch of repairs being done. So one of the things we're going to do here is we are going to... Well, you know what? I think we're going to end the episode here. Next episode is going to be a repair and refit and travel episode. Maybe we'll do a half skull mission, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you think I could have handled that mission better, I definitely probably could have handled that mission better. Uh, leave a comment below on 
what you think I should have done and what you should think what you think I should do for some of these refits with the parts I have available and we will see you next time thank you for watching